areas of research at Terrasante has to do with uh, generation of power. Uh, we're connected to the grid. What I'd like to be is grid feeders, ultimately, to where we generate our own needs here locally, but that we're able to supply a little extra for somebody, say, in the city of Tucson, who can't do that. We're picking up the slack. So a decentralized power supply system that, uh, that has redundancy built in, that, that it has a, uh, provides people uh, so that if the grid does go down, for whatever reason, then we've got a backup out here to pump water out of the ground, keep our plants alive. We had a situation a couple years ago where we lost uh, three power poles and some straight line winds came through with the summer storm. And it took four days for them to come out and get it all put back up. In the meantime, we didn't have any power and there weren't as many plants out here. And uh, so having a, a solar powered battery backup that we can operate our wells on is actually uh, something that we're pursuing as one of our solar projects that not only kind of demonstrates the technology, but also provides a useful service to our community. Bob, everybody calls me Solar Bob. Um, my main focus is uh, solar energy, but I like wind energy also. We've, we've done some electric car projects and we've got more going. We're building a little uh, electric truck. And that's about it. I, my, my specialty is electronics and mechanical, electromechanical devices. Well, I live in southern Ohio in a very rural area. Not many people live down there. And I've been working on alternative energy for years and years because I don't have electricity off the grid, so I just make my own by whatever means. So far I have a few solar panels. It's pretty meager. Um, wood heat in the winter. Uh, you know, some gasoline powered tools. But the, the electricity I use comes from the sun right now. And from whatever I generate off a gasoline engine, but I'd rather use the sun. Give me a long section because I don't have to get out here and suck on it and I don't want to How long did it take to boil? Very short. Seven minutes maybe. Wow, that's pretty good. The way I think about survivability, sustainability in a marginal environment like the Sonoran Desert where we live, uh, water is a big issue, food is a big issue, and shelter is a big issue, and all of those things have major carbon impacts. Um, the, one of the big issues that we've explored here is shelter, and we have learned that the earth provides shelter, that's what the animals do, they burrow into the ground where it's cool uh, in the summer, and they burrow into the ground where it's uh, warmer in the winter and um, kind of using that model we're experimenting with earthen architecture, earth bags, a little bit of ferro cement and uh, figuring out how to make shelter out of that. It works actually really well and, uh, and the shelter doesn't cost very much. That's the other issue. Is the, our societal program is designed to make shelter expensive because it has to, to meet lots of requirements and um, and I don't know that that's really necessary for basic shelter, such as it always has existed, and one can go from there, but I think the place to start is with the basics.